Hello, this is Jeff Ballinger here for another Two Minute on Tuesday. It's uh, Tuesday, February 15th. Hopefully everybody had a uh, good Valentine's Day yesterday. And uh, for those of you that were rooting for the Rams, you had a, a good Super Bowl Sunday. Got a quick uh, news brief from our partners at Zywave. Uh, it brings up an interesting point because it, it always uh, is the answer to the question of many of the penalties that you see out there regarding employment regulations such as you know the different reporting requirements that employers have or the different documents that you must distribute to employees whether it be an SBC or a, a plan document or summary plan description and you've seen the penalties that uh, can incur be incurred uh, for violating uh, not distributing those forms and the list of those items goes on and on and on uh, the news brief talks about how the Department of Labor is going to be hiring a, an additional hundred investigators to help them with their caseload they showed that in uh, 2011 or 2021 that uh, they were able to recover about 230 million in wages uh, for various reasons, probably mostly overtime uh, regulations that weren't being followed correctly. But it, it, it all starts with a simple phone call from a disgruntled employee calling the Department of Labor, usually something regarding payroll, and that person coming in and starting to dig into your books and looking at things and, and maybe finding that you offer a 401k plan or a flexible spending plan and then digging into the documents and looking for the reporting requirements to that. So that in a long way is the answer to the question is how do, how do those penalties uh, get put in place or, or get assessed? It's because of these investigators. And the news brief is basically saying look out because they say they're going to be upping their game as far as looking for some of these violations. So we're including a link to the quick news brief. It'll talk to you about that. As always, if you have any questions about this or would like help reviewing your situation, feel free to reach out to any of the consultants here at Better Business Planning. Otherwise, have a great week. Hopefully we start to warm up here a little bit in Chicago, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks.